Hi everyone, today I've got a special little Halloween video to share with you and I have a pumpkin muffin recipe, a spiced pumpkin latte recipe and a few other little treats to share with you. So first of all we need to get some pumpkins and I've gone for these really cute little pumpkins here because they're really small and also when you're baking recipes with pumpkins the smallest ones have the sweetest flavour. So to make the pumpkin muffins I'm just going to really quickly show you everything's going to be linked down below to the official recipe. So first of all all you need to do is to chop your pumpkin in half Scoop out the middle and keep the seeds for in a little while. And then turn the pumpkins upside down, cover them with tin foil and bake in the oven for about 45 minutes. So whilst your pumpkins are in the oven you can start preparing the dry ingredients. So here I have three cups of flour, two cups of sugar, some freshly grated nutmeg and cinnamon and I'm just going to add some salt and then mix all the dry ingredients together then in a separate bowl I'm going to prepare the wet ingredients so that's four eggs I always use free range eggs from the Happy Egg Company I think it's called Some vegetable oil but I only had olive oil I don't so think it then it, your pumpkins should be ready and soft I also added the pumpkin seeds in uh, for five minutes at the end just so then they would roast so just leave those to cool and then you can scoop the middle out with a spoon but just be careful because they'll be really really hot And then you can whiz the pumpkin together to make like a pumpkin puree. I'm sure in America you can actually buy this in a tin or a can but I couldn't find it in England and I also wanted to make it fresh. So add your pureed pumpkin to the wet ingredients, the eggs and the oil and then just beat that together with a fork. And then once that is in a smooth mixture, just add that to the dry ingredients that we created before. And then just beat that with a wooden spoon until it's smooth. Again, this is just a really brief description of what I was doing. I'll leave the link below to the recipe that I actually followed because it's really quick and easy. And it'll have all like the ingredients and the exact measurements as well. So I found that this recipe made 12 muffins. I found it quite difficult to add this into the muffin cases, but just take your time and be careful. But it doesn't really matter if you spill any over the edges like I did, because it doesn't really have to be perfect. Then you can sprinkle the roasted pumpkin seeds over the top if you want to. They actually have a really nice flavor, but I did leave some of them without the seeds just because I know that my sister doesn't like them. And then just pop these in the oven for about 20 to 25 minutes. And then you are free to lick the spoon. So once your pumpkin muffins are ready they should look a little bit like this. So they're just nicely brown on the top. Now to go with your pumpkin muffins I'm going to show you how to make a spiced pumpkin latte. So all you need for this really easy recipe is three cups or however many people you're serving. I, in this video I did three portions. So I had a large cup of boiling hot water and a medium cup of cold milk. Then I just added three sachets of the Nescafe caramel latte 
then add the big cup of boiling water and just whisk together just so then there's no lumps of the coffee powder and then add the medium cup of cold water and however many people you make this for add a teaspoon of the pumpkin mix then I added some more fresh nutmeg and cinnamon which really gives it a lovely flavour and then I whisk this together as well and with this coffee as well it has like a natural froth on the top which is really lovely then I just poured those into the serving cups Then I added whipped cream on the top, mine is the big red cup because I love this recipe, sprinkled some more nutmeg and cinnamon on top of the whipped cream and then added a fresh stick of cinnamon. Then your pumpkin spice lattes are ready to enjoy with your fresh pumpkin muffins and I absolutely love this recipe, I think it's perfect for Halloween to settle down with your family and watch a good family Halloween film. I really enjoyed making these and it was just such a perfect evening. It looks like I'm alone here but I was actually joined with my sister and my boyfriend. <laughs> So I've been saving this very special bubble bar for Halloween. It is the Sparkly Pumpkin from Lush and it is so lovely. It has a little cinnamon stick on the top as well. It's really energising and it just smells fantastic. So you just crumble this under hot running water like a normal bubble bar and it turns the water a lovely orange colour but the camera wasn't really picking it up that well. It looks more yellowy here but it's really orange and it's sparkly as well which is just lovely it would be really fun to use this before going to a Halloween party because you'd just have glitter on your skin and it's really cute I of course lit some candles just to set a relaxing mood and it really was just a special pamper night this is one of my favourite bubble bars and I think I'm going to have to go and get another one quickly tomorrow before they stop selling them after Halloween so after your pumpkin bubble bath you can go into your bedroom like I did and just light some candles and relax with another film. This one was Hocus Pocus which I watch every year with my family since I was a child and if you have any sweets left over from the trick or treaters or if you're lucky enough to be young enough to go trick or treating then you can empty all your goodies out and just sit back with a film and relax. I hope everyone has a really lovely Halloween. Please let me know in the comments below what your plans are, if you are going trick-or-treating or if you're going to a party, because I'd love to know. And happy Halloween everyone!